keto diet is controversial but extremely popular, right, among people looking to shed pounds quickly. The question remains, is the keto diet safe and helpful in the long term, and what are possible side effects, both good and bad? Karina Heinrich, she's an integrative nutritionist and founder of the Karina Method, is here to talk about it. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Let's first talk about what is keto for people not familiar with it. Okay, well, the keto diet is an extremely low-carb, high-fat, moderate-protein diet. So it involves drastically reducing your carb intake and replacing it with fats. And when you do this, your body enters a state of ketosis. And that means your body becomes extremely efficient at burning fats rather than just carbs for energy. So people do see weight loss. They see immediate weight loss, um, but it's very difficult to stick to the strict rules of keto. So you need to keep on eating the high fat in order to keep in that state of ketosis. So once you stop eating that way, the weight comes back? The weight comes immediately back, and that is a negative draw. Definitely. No, for people also, what about the health issues with it if you stay on this for a long time? So, you know, long-term studies are happening right now for keto, but most studies do show you should not remain on the keto diet for more than 12 months. And during those 12 months, it's really important to work with a doctor to monitor your kidney functions, um, which is a little bit scary if you're right. going on a diet. Yeah. Um, but uh, the other negative side effects that people are seeing are digestive issues, overstressed kidneys, bad breath, being extra thirsty. So you have to definitely go into it knowing the positive is weight loss, but it comes with a whole slew of negative side effects. Wow. Let's talk about if people do want to try this. You have some steps. I, yes. I mean, I, like I said, most doctors and nutritionists say you should work with a doctor, but if you're going to go in on your own, mm -hmm. I recommend you definitely stick to real foods. There's so many packaged products now because keto is so popular. Mm -hmm. um, because you get so few carbs, make sure you choose your carbs wisely. If you're on a 2,000 calorie diet, you literally get 100 calories of carbs so choose a vegetable please right um, make sure you're keeping a close check on your micro micronutrients so that involves you know working with your doctor taking vitamins because you're not getting the full spectrum of the food groups mm -hmm. and then also make sure you're having high quality fats this does not mean donuts and burgers <laughs> this is a time that you're eating <laughs> nuts fatty fishes avocados things like that so it sounds like your positive you talk about is you are gonna lose the weight but boy there are a lot of negatives with it and it's not long term I know you counsel a, a different way just smarter eating in general? I mean, for me, I have my clients eat, follow a high, low, lean, no, which means high fiber, high water, high clean carbs, okay. low fat, and that's high quality fats, lean proteins, so we're not eating the fatty, you know, pepperonis and things like that. We're going towards fishes, chickens, and no sugar and no salt. So sorry, but. I'm not a fan of that part. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but it does work, and that becomes more of a lifestyle without all of these negative side effects that people are seeing with the keto diet. All right, I wanna point people the direction of where they can find out more about you. You can go to KarinaHeinrich.com to see more of her ideas. Karina, thanks for being here this Thank morning. Thank you for having me.